to be able to talk with Hello everybody, how are you? Good? Good, good. I'm Sarah, and welcome to my channel. And I'm super excited. So, um, I am about to be a senior in high school, which is crazy, crazy to think about. But I thought that it would be a lot of fun to give you guys some advice for junior year, and a lot of this advice can also be applied to freshman year, so let's get started. The first piece of advice is don't stress yourself out too much. I hear so many people say, oh my goodness, I'm going to be a junior, it's the worst year. It's not the best year, but you have four years in high school. You might as well make the most out of each of the years. Like, you can't just dread one of them and then look forward to senior year. Like, every year should be appreciated. It's going to get stressful and it's going to get uh, hard, I guess, like the workload. Don't pull on either and your year it's possible, you know, it's not impossible, you can do it, you just gotta work hard. Second piece of advice is to stay on top of your work. You will get through it, and you will do it, but if you leave things, you know, if, um, can't talk. Uh, for example, if you have, if a teacher gives you a project on Monday and is due Friday, do not wait until Thursday night. There's obviously a reason that they gave you the entire week. Like, if they give you time in class, don't just chat, like, chat to your friends. Like, actually do the work. My third piece of advice is to make good relations with your teachers and this is very important because your junior year after you know that summer between junior and senior year you're applying to universities you're asking teachers for recommendation letters you're asking teachers to read over papers that you're going to hand in to like for an application so there's a lot of things that you're gonna ask your teacher for so throughout that junior year make sure that you're like hey how was your weekend? Good. How was yours? Good. Like even little things like that. And if you're a decent student that, you know, does their homework, tries, then like, I guarantee a teacher will like you. Like if you're polite, do your homework, like, yeah. And be uh, friendly towards your teachers and earn their respect because once you have their respect, you can ask them for a lot because they genuinely want to help. They're, like, their job is to help students. And especially, I feel like a lot of teachers, excuse me, a lot of teachers um, really like juniors and seniors, like upperclassmen. Not, obviously, not all of them. Um, but, but I also feel like they really, a lot, most of them, genuinely want us to succeed. They genuinely want us to get into the college we want to, get the grade that we want to, have the letter of recommendation that we want to hear. So I think that they they do genuinely care. So I think throughout that junior year, just make sure that you are like really like communicating with them and going. My fourth piece of advice, is it my fourth? I think it's my fourth, but is to do college tours throughout your junior year. And at least in my school, I don't know in other schools, but we had a lot of um, college rep representatives, college college reps, uh, come to our school and do like presentations. So, and I didn't attend any of them. It was the beginning, like the right at the beginning of my junior year, and I was like, um why do I need to go to these? Like, that's stupid. I'm not, like, applying to college for another year. Do it. Like, it's such an amazing opportunity to be able to, t it's a super good idea to actually go and you get to meet someone who, like, looks over applications. 
what a better person to know. Like if, if you introduce yourself and you're like, hey, I'm Sarah Price, I do this and this, and uh, like for example, I would say like, oh, like I moved from Switzerland two years ago, and I have this and this, they will remember you. If they, you know how a lot of people are like, oh, well, it's like, you know, that's just like an application, like they just read it. Then go to these events, like meet, like if you're a better people person, which I am, like I'm a better people person. I'm more of a people person. And so if, if I would have gone and met them, like they would know my face. And so I'm definitely going to go in the, like this fall coming up because there are so many like amazing schools in Michigan and they're coming to like our school. So why wouldn't I like go and say hi? <laughs> okay. My fifth piece of advice is to not procrastinate. This kind of goes with the second one which says like stay on top of your work. And this is basically the exact same thing. But I feel like procrastinating is something that I would do a lot at least during like after school. So if for example during my study hour I did like half of the work, I'd be like, oh my goodness, I've worked so hard. And so I would work out, like I would go to like weightlifting or crossfit after school and then I would come home and literally do nothing. I'd eat and do nothing. And then it would be like, I don't know, 10.30, and I would be like, uh, I guess I really do have to, like, finish the work. It's 10.30. I'd like to go to bed at, like, I don't know, 11, but I stay on my phone. So, I don't want to go to bed, like, any later. I'm not, I'm not a night person, and I don't think I'm a morning person. I don't really know what I am, but, yeah, do not procrastinate. Okay guys, that is it for the video. I, I hope that this video kind of helped you guys and helped make junior year your entry to junior year maybe just a little bit better in the sense that maybe you're a little bit more reassured. It's not as bad as it sounds. You know, there is the SAT. Prepare for it. There is, you know, college applications. Just talk to your counselor about it. You can do it. You can get through it. Positive attitude. You can do it. Anyone can. Especially you. So, keep your head up. And get through the junior year. The junior. And get through junior year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, also. I'm going to be uploading every Friday and Sunday. So a lot of videos and new con a lot of videos and new content going up on this channel. I'm going to be filming a lot of collabs with people. A lot I have like two people in mind, but I'm going to be filming collabs and I'm going to be doing more vlogs. I vlogs. I have some super cool ideas that I really want to do. So make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Bye.